Welcome to your doom. That's right. In this episode, I'm going to play Altered Beast for the Sega Genesis. <laughs> is, is there a storm outside? Well, Taco Man plays a video game. He'll play games you haven't seen forever. Yeah, Taco Man plays a video game and no one else can do it better. And it feels so wrong because Taco Man plays a video game. Yeah, Taco Man plays a video game and has fun, fun, fun. Come on, Taco Man plays a video game and has fun. In 1989, Sega unleashed its home gaming console, the Genesis, with the pack-in game Altered Beast. It was a port of the popular arcade game, and it was very impressive for its time, especially when compared to the NES version. <sighs> Somehow though, the Sega Master System version looked a lot better, though this probably had something to do with the fact that the game was made by Sega. Hmm. Alright, let's play this crap. Wise from your grave. Wise from your grave? Is he Elmer Fudd? So it looks like I'm supposed to just go around destroying everything while collecting blue balls. Power. Whoa, he lost his shirt. Hot. <clears throat> I mean, uh, the storyline for this game is that you're a dead guy brought back to life by Zeus so you can rescue his daughter. Hmm, makes sense. Woo! Uh, I, I like how no matter how big his body gets, his head stays the same size. That's what steroids would do to you. After you get all your balls, you'll evolve into a man creature thingy. Here, it's a wolf guy. But it differs on each level. And technically, the levels could go on for infinity if you were to never get your balls. Sheesh. Welcome to your doom. Um, okay. How am I supposed to respond to that? At least he doesn't have a speech impediment. Defeating the first boss is easy, as you can just stand in one place and shoot him until he's dead. But then a big head comes out and sucks your balls. <laughs> <coughs> Speaking of sucking, I love these little blob guys. What? Who turned out the lights? On level two, you turn into a dragon thingamabob. And to easily defeat the boss, all you have to do is get right up next to him and use your electric charge doohickey. These are all technical terms. Level 3 is where the game gets harder and the bad guys get, well, weirder. What is that? And why does it have a huge erection? Once you get your balls, you turn into my favorite power up in the game, Pedo Bear! Yeah, you show him who's boss, Pedo Bear! Um, that's not showing them. Level 4 is more the same, except you turn into a tiger. Woo. And finally, the last level. What the hell? Goats? Seriously? Alright. Come here, you stupid goats! Come on, get over here! What the fulp? I just got killed by a... a freaking unicorn? What? What the hell is that? Well, the manual calls him a dark unicorn whose swift flying kick spells immediate pain and loss of energy. They forgot to mention he's also hilarious looking. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get that unicorn this time. Alright, this time. <sighs> At least he's dead. How embarrassing, getting your ass kicked by a unicorn. Seeing how this is the last level of the game and I've almost collected all my balls, I wonder what animal I'm gonna turn into. Huh? But that's just the same werewolf from the first freaking level! He's just colored differently! What a letdown! Lazy ass programmers. However, the boss is Bebop from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Nah, it's just some dumb rhino. So once you defeat him, and it's easy to do, a bird flies out and turns into Zeus's daughter. Saving me, Mr. Wolfman! Just doing my job, ma'am. Whatever that is. What is my job? And why am I a wolfman? Then the credits play. And I'm pretty sure they're supposed to say Shinobi and not Sonobi. Lazy programmers. 
Yeah, the next rounds are the same game you just played, only harder. Thanks, but no thanks. Seriously, it smells in here. Stinks like anus. <laughs>